Hey everyone, Jolt here. I have a fantastic new functionality for you today. Did it ever happen to you that you found an image on the internet? You wanted to use it in Excolitraw for a drawing or maybe on Canvas or maybe in a Markdown note, but you didn't want the entire image. Maybe you just need the head of the cat. So what did you do? Now you take this image, you go outside of Obsidian, you find the tool to crop the image and then you bring it back. It's a hassle. So now I have a solution for you. If I have an image here and later on I'll show you the same in a markdown note and on canvas as well. So stick around. If now I press control P, I can simply type in crop image and press enter and you can see that here on the side a cropping window open. There was also a notice here telling me that this is a special Excolid draw window because this is used for image cropping. And to get the basics of the cropping, I'm going to show you lots of special features here. So again, stick around because I have lots in store for you. But the basic functionality is I can just simply crop the image, I can drag the sides in like this and I can select the head, head of the cat like this and when I come back to my image it will refresh and now I have the cropped head of this cat. Now I told you there's more so the next level where you can go with this cropping is this is actually not only cropping but you can add a mask to the image as well. A mask is a set of shapes that you can place on top of the image. Black is going to black out the part. So I'm going to now place here this black box. And here I'm going to change the background color to brown so you can see that that black box became a transparent area here. So I'm just going to show you that this is indeed transparent that you can see here that that circle disappears and appears around that shape. Now the trick is that this shape can of course be any shape so let me just show you how it works. If I create a slightly bigger black box like this and now I'm going to pull my crop a bit further in like that like this of course, now if I come back, it would be completely empty so I can show you, but this is not such uh, so exciting because now I have an empty box, but this is not what I want to show you. If now I draw a circle here, and I'm going to make this circle white. So the black will make the part transparent. The white is going to make the part visible and the shades in between are going to make are going to be semi transparent. But if I now do this and I come back here, you can see the end result is pretty cool. I cropped out the two eyes of this cat. So let me now show you two other uses of this and also in that process show you how you can use this on canvas and how you can use this in a markdown note. So first let's open a canvas document. So I'm now going to open a new canvas right here. And on this canvas, I'm going to add an image. I'm going to add my monkey PNG like that. I'm going to close this. And if I have my monkey here, I can simply again choose crop image and the image cropper opens. and of course, the same things will work. So I can simply crop, do the same actions as I did before. And you will see is that here on canvas, the image was cropped and you can do the same. You can create circles, you can create shapes. Now the fun additional bit that is sort of a hidden functionality or a, an unintended but very useful feature is if I now write something around the image. So I'm now going to choose this white color and I'm going to just write something here with large letters. So these are my notes about the 
image. And I can even add white arrows. So for example, I'm going to add this white arrow that points there because white is going to make it, is not going to change the visibility of the image. So I can also add maybe here that these are the eyes like that. And so I can create this image where I have maybe a family photo and I can put arrows there pointing who's who. But when I use it here, then nothing of this is visible. Now, of course, if I would make the arrow black and I would come back here, then you can see the black arrow. But if the arrow is white, then the arrow and the text around the frame are not visible. Why is this good? Because this way you can add metadata to an image that you're using in a drawing on canvas or maybe in a markdown node. And then let me show you the final use case. Let's open now a new markdown document. So I'm just going to create this blank document right here. And we're going to pick up a nice colorful image. I'm going to use this image and drop it in here. Let's make this into an embedded image. So now I have this beautiful color splash right here. And let me show you another cool trick that you can do. Let's close this here. Let's come down here and press Ctrl P and type in crop image. So again, the image cropper opens. The same things are true as before. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this black rectangle here. I'm going to crop my image like this and maybe like this and I'm going to crop it like this. And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add some white text like this and I'm going to type in hello world. Maybe we're going to use this font like this. And I'm going to make this as big as possible like that. And now I guess you can imagine what we are going to see. Think about what you're expecting to see. You're going to see the text with the color of the background right here. And of course, if I would go further and maybe I can add here this rectangle and I'm going to just make this rectangle have a white fill color, but I'm going to actually use this, this fill like this and I'm going to make the border color transparent. And now if we come back, then you can see that the fill shade of this rectangle will be reflected in the colors right there. So if now I would change this maybe to like this, then you can see that now my hello world follows that coloring. So that's all I wanted to show you today. You can convert images from your notes, from canvas and from a drawing. You can crop the image, but you can go further because now you can add the masks to the image. And what's really an additional bonus is you can actually add metadata to your image like this. Or if you want, want you can even turn over to markdown view mode. And here you can add even more metadata to the image as you would want. So this is then an extended opportunity to add metadata. The bottom line is with this new cropping functionality, you get much more than cropping. You can crop, you can mask, you can add metadata, and you can do this in Excolitra, in your markdown notes, and on Canvas. Enjoy.